Hello Space Watchers, we have the pleasure here to interview today Renato Panesi, the co-founder and chief commercial officer at The Orbit. Renato, how are you doing? Pretty well, pretty well. Thank you. It's a very good moment for us. Absolutely. Uh, first of all, congratulations, because for the, the Orbit just recently announced that they just closed a 150 million euro Series C uh, round. Uh, that's fantastic. Congratulations to the yeah. entire enterprise. We guys, we've been following you for a while, so we're obviously cheering up for you. But um, what do you think that the investors saw in, this, in, in the Orbit? Well, this round really takes us to the next step, to the next stage of growth of, uh, of the company. Talking about stages of growth, I'm not an investor, but I think that generally uh, investors looks, look at different things depending on the specific stage of growth of, of the company. Uh, in our case, I would say mainly three ingredients. Uh, one is the team, as always. Uh, investor bet their money on the team uh, which is not just the founders anymore uh, like in a small startup or micro company um, they look for commitment they look for hard and soft skills of course for resiliency never give up and they look for their that bright, shine in the eyes, the you know? The sparkness. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so this is ingredient number one. Number two, uh, in our case, I would say the heritage. Uh, with 14 missions deployed into space as we speak, um, 150 payloads, third-party payloads serviced or delivered with 100% um, success rate, uh, I would say our track records are pretty good. We showed that we deliver. And the third ingredient is, um, uh, is the roadmap. Uh, I believe that uh, some of the pillars of the new space economy are space logistics and cloud. Uh, because with the upstream uh, infrastructure uh, continuously growing at a high pace, well, this infrastructure will need maintenance, will need logistic services, which is what we are providing. and. Uh, our roadmap does foresee additional services or better services to be rendered in the in the future and uh, cloud computing in orbit is um, an additional touch an additional element which we believe will become dominant with the amount of data um, generated by those satellites also increasing at, uh, at fast pace. So you have a vision and you know how to realize it uh, fundamentally. <laughs> we um, pretend to. So speaking about the funds, uh, uh, how are you planning to invest them? Which type of areas you're going to implement now? Well, for sure, uh, market expansion. We do have in our plan an aggressive expansion in, uh, in the US. We recently launched the Orbit USA, which is an yeah. example. We, we, we set a, fit, a first footprint in the country with the goal to work with, uh, with government agencies and, and, and local uh, institutions. Also uh, expansion in, uh, in Asia and the Far East. Uh, but we need those funds also for our new facility. We are becoming bigger. Uh, we need to, be, to build bigger satellites. We need to build satellite at a faster space, at a faster pace. So uh, we definitely need a new a new headquarter, and uh, and the rest we will invest on uh, uh, on M and A to acquire yes. technologies. Okay, so a scaling up uh, structure for exactly. Speaking of uh, Marubeni, I mean this uh, this corporation has been the, the lead investor of this round, but they have been uh, your agency since 2021. So you have a sort of legacy with them. What has been uh, the impact so far, and uh, where do you see this partnership going? I would say, as agents, they are key to expand our um, our business in specific areas of the world. Of course, being Japanese, they have a strong uh, structure in, uh, in Asia, Japan, Korea, ASEAN country, uh, Australia, New Zealand. Uh, but they do also have offices in the uh, Middle East, in, uh, in South America. So they really do help a lot uh, the business development activities. Uh, but you say they are a corporate, they are not a fund uh, wishing to exit after a few years. And as a corporate, we expect them to help us building our own internal processes as we grow and to escort us 
in our growth in a long-term period. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about more than five or ten years. So a long-term collaboration. Exactly. Uh, last question, your elevator pitch on uh, your 20-second elevator pitch on what's the future of uh, the orbit uh, so far? What's uh, the next milestone that you guys want to hit? Well, we are uh, uh, after 14 successful mission of our OTV. Next year we will debut uh, version 5 of generation 2 of our OTV, mm -hmm. which will feature uh, more room for, for hosted payloads and a better pointing accuracy. Generation 3 will follow on uh, one year later with um, additional capacity for bigger satellites and improved um, maneuvering capabilities. At the same time, we are working also on our in-orbit servicing solution. Uh, I can share much now, but uh, some big news will follow shortly. Fantastic. Renato, congratulations again. Congratulations to all the orbit. We're really proud of you. And uh, see you next time. And space watch out. Thank you very much. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you.